What's up, guys? How are we all doing? Are we all good? Right, today I just want to do a quick little video about the Omni Navigation app for Omzi 2. Basically, this will bring up a um, an on-screen navigation, like an on-screen sat nav, um, for most maps. Um, I will bring up my OMSI navigation in a moment and uh, so you can see what it's all about. But this is where you have to go. I'll put the link in the description as well. Um, um, when you come to uh, the, just the OMSI, na Omni navigation, um, it takes you through and you just click on English and um, it will bring you to here. And it's. Um, multiply one and you just fill in your whole billing address and take a pay and so on and so forth you know they do PayPal um, you can just do normal, normal normal cards or anything like that now once this is done you will get <coughs> a exe file so you double click the exe file and then you will um, just follow it as you normally would, um, install it, and then it will tell you what file you want to install it into. So you install it into um, Steam, um, Steam Apps Common, um, OMSI 2, just install it into that folder. Um, it's not, well, not install it, it's, it asks you where you want it to, to well, um, load from, I think. Um, but once once that's all done and you click on this um, you click yes and here we go so this is the Omni navigation so these are um, all of the maps that are actually supported so far so the Berlin one um, is supported which comes with the game I think with the burn and spandau um, I haven't got the update yet I don't think oh dear sorry excuse me um, bus of the west country they're supported Cotterell is supported um, the express supported so there's plenty of English ones as well um, Hamburg is supported uh, Grandorf you know so there are ones that are um, available even if you just got the base OMSI you can still use this um, so over here I don't know why I've put logos your self added maps logo I have no idea um, so yes and the Berlin one which is something I want to have a look at actually at some point um, but then you can click over here and add mini map for another map for instance now I tried Yorkshire but it comes up that it's not compatible so I think the creators of the maps need to put in something um, into the actual map for it to um, recognize Omni Navigation. So, um, so basically that's pretty much it. I don't think if I click show map. No, didn't think it did anything. Um, but yes, also on the map you can... Yeah, go online to see other. Um, you can see other players online. So it's really it's it's, it's really cool. We'll take a look in a second. Um, but basically, that's 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 pretty much it. Um, there isn't many um, installation um, or English installation. They're all German. <coughs> um, but pretty much standard installation, like you would. With anything else it's an exe file and just install it into your omsi omsi2 um, folder obviously if you, if you get it through steam it's in steam steam apps common omsi2 like i said and um, then it will give you the option to um, that it will start every time you start omsi which is what i am now about to do <clears throat> um, hang on these are all my, all my, all my games. Look, wow. 
Right. So let's start up OMSI 2. Um, this may take a while. <laughs> this is what OMSI is like. Come on, OMSI, you can do it. Here we go. Right. So and that's that will that keeps coming up because I think that's the OMSI navigator. So that will start every time. Did it really? I love OMSI. So now if we um I know for a fact that Cotterell is um part of the uh, one of the maps that is compatible. So if we just use I mean because I've got Cotterell I've got the Express, but I think that's a tram actually. Um and you know I've got Belgrade and Berlin, bus of the West Country. Um I really wanted it in Yorkshire but it keeps coming up that it's not compatible, so but let's just use Cotterell, right? So you load map without buses. Um, otherwise, it doesn't recognise. Sometimes it doesn't recognise if you load later state of map. So let's go in to OMSI. So hopefully it won't crash, but there you go. There it is, look. All there. So these are set positions. So let's go bus station, just for fun. Um, and um, yeah, so you can see that left hand side is the sat nav, which isn't you can have you can make it a lot smaller. Um, if you just if you hover over it, you see you get you get this, so and you can um, if you go menu, put it into a different window. So then if I slide it over into a different window, I can make it. A bit, um, a bit smaller. Bring it back over here. Now that will disappear eventually and go back to normal. Um, so I have found it to, to to do that anyway. But let's while well, that's doing. That. Oh no, hang on. City me, hang on. Um, let's get rid of that first. There we go. That will eventually disappear. So let's, while well, that's just realizing what it wants to do, there we go. <coughs> that, 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 that box will only come up again, really, if you hover over that box. Um, yes, we know the Volvo doesn't like to be. Um, I've got to get rid of the Volvo. Doesn't like to be doing anything. So what I'm going to do, we're in Cotterell. This should load up. I'm just going to load up the nearest bus and start at bus station. This should work. Um, shouldn't crash my game out too much. Um, here we go. See, and all these have come up. Look, all those have come up. So here we are. We are at the bus station. So now, if we um, um, if we go inside the bus, and let's. So we are at the bus station. For, so if we choose a line, there's only one, Andy. Um, here we go. Bus station waiting point. Up past six. That so will take that. You know, 15 minute drive. Um, and I think these are the stops that happen there. Um, so let's take that. So we're on. This is how, this is how I set up the bus as well. So we're on U18, and we are going to the university. Okay. So we click yes. Click on this. We go. U18 and we are going to the university and that way the bus all the electrics come on on the bus we don't need this open so we can get rid of that completely and then 
we can we can see our our stops are here. So we have bus station, bus station bay seven. So we have to go round, and this tells you here where to go. Um, the only thing I don't really like is um. It doesn't really tell you because there's a lot of stops here it doesn't really tell you um, which which stops to stop at um, so you still have to um, kind of just get used to it but let's just right let's start start the bus up if you're worried about anything it's normally M that starts the bus so we'll click on drive and break off. Just hold the brake down. Just put some lights on quick. Now, if we drive round to the ver first stop, which I'm presuming you see could be here, because it does say. That here is a bus stop, but what what I tend what I think I should do. No, I can't. For some reason. Oh, here we go. Um, so if I do that again, this is why I tend to put this into a different screen. And if you come out big, you can actually see. I mean, I have this on a completely different screen. Um, so you can kind of see that there, that there looks like there's no stops. Yeah, travel. See, look, there's someone else on this map. But there is nothing. Oh, change side to position the map. What's that? Hang on. Ooh. Really? Um... See, that doesn't help. But, yeah, so I tend to um, have it on a different page or a different screen. But if you haven't got two screens, then obviously that's not really a viable option, is it? Um, so... But uh, let's let's have a little wander. Um, let's drive about and let's go and see if we can find our first stop. I think it's here actually. We actually need to. Um, what's our first time? Oh no, wrong side. Oh my god! Come on, camera. Bus station waiting point 6.30, so I'm pretty sure that this is it, actually. So let's... Let's get through to... Nearly through to 6.30. Let's open the doors. See if anyone wants to get on. Anyone for anyone? Doesn't look like it. Sorry, in your van, but you can wait, bud. Should be able to just get through there, I think. Bus station waiting point. See, this is the thing. I don't know. I honestly, don't know exactly. It was right back there, wasn't it? Was the waiting point. But if we now head off, we should get round to the next stop. You can kind of tell 
because people if people want to get on the bus if they, if they want to get off they'll go ding if they want to get on they'll walk to the bus stop from whether they're sitting or standing in the bus stop or whatever so you can fairly easily tell um, but I think because we're in the city it seems like there's you know there's quite a few together but I think there's one here and we get round to one here sorry Van I'm going oh dear knocked over a pedestrian it's all fine see we have to go around here Good. There we go. Now I think See there's people waiting over there. So what we're going to do is presume Yeah, number seven, look, waiting bay seven. So let's pull up here. And they all want to get on. There we go. Hello, lad. Hello. Can I have a day pass, please, driver? Push again. T for ticket. Control T to give change. One day rider, please, driver. Thank you. Ticket. There we go. Now that is done. So now all we have to do get rid of that. Click into neutral, reverse, and check our mirror over there. There we go. And then we can just swiftly move on to the next stop. I mean if you can get your get your wheel set up so there's um you know so you know all your buttons, there's no reason to touch the mouse at all. So you can just do everything from your wheel and keyboard um, but I like the little the little sat nav I prefer it to the to the the, the big blue icons over the top of the um, roads because if you haven't got a very good computer then it's not um, the draw distance isn't very good you can't um, you can't see far enough. You know, this is telling me that this isn't one of my stops. So we didn't get a ding either. So we're not going to bother stopping. So, but we're not going to do the whole route. I'm just going to. I'm just kind of testing out the. Um, Showing you off, showing off the the omni navigation of what we what uh, what the main purpose of this video was. So, but I like it. I think it's worth. I think it's worth the money. Um, the more I use it, I think the more it's going to um, appeal. I think once you, once you get used to it and. You know, working out the where the, the map and everything, I think will be fine. I think it's very, very good. You know, and this is the other good thing. You know, before, um, really, and you go, really? I don't think so. My goodness me! Right, so this is telling me now that this here. Is another one of our bus stops. We get down. Stop. 
Oh dear, is he going to get on? Yes, he is. Did wonder. There we go. Awesome. Close the doors. And set off again. There we go. We can head off, and as you can see, there is no other bus stops for a while. So as long as the lights are green, we can just carry on trundling through the city until we have to turn right up here. Let's try and stop before we um, occupy the same space as that Citroen. You're not going to go. Oh, yes, you are. Awesome. Okay, that's fine then. Keep going. Keep going in your Citroen. Come on, you can do it. Don't make me go round. Come on. Thank you. Oh, now you decide to indicate. Well done. Daily of the traffic in. In OMSI. Ridiculous. With OMSI as well, as if you've been watching any of my videos, I don't drive fast enough in OMSI. You know, try and keep up with the traffic as much as possible, I think. Um, so... So, I don't think anyone wants to get off. Um, nobody's here to get on so but you know I think we have to stop anyway and we can just move off again so yeah you have to just keep up otherwise you know I mean I do I, I'm, I'm always late on OMSI always But yeah, the other problem is I also have um, the brakes are extremely urgent on on Obzi for some reason. So, and I'm not sure you can um, turn the sensitivity down. I will have to check um, whether that might be in my. I don't think I can do it via my Thrustmaster settings. Don't think. I have to look into that. I think you can do something if you have a Logitech. I think that does do something, but um, I'm not sure. Right, come on! Come on, lights. Normally, when I do that, it doesn't take too long before it actually... There we go. <laughs> right, so let's get going around here. I am really struggling with the whole not hitting a curb as you come round um, round corners and my passengers do not like it they do not like it one little bit um, but I just normally tell them to shut up and get on with it you know I think as long as you don't die on the way to wherever you're going I think we can class that as a as a victory so they won't like this because I'll probably go around this roundabout too quick. And they'll say something like, "You should stick to the Sky Electric, son." Get that a lot. Oh, I thought she was actually going to get on the bus. Obviously not. Anybody? How about you? Anyone? Can you get on? No? So obviously you just get up to a certain point and then just turn around. That's fine. Not a problem. Indicator off? Do you know what? I might act I might actually finish this map. <laughs> we haven't got much further to do, I don't think. Try 
try and stick to 30 mile an hour. Uh oh! Mm, nothing to see there, that was absolutely fine. Gonna do you or no? You don't want a ticket. That's absolutely fine. That's not a problem at all, sir. Thanks. Thanks for saying hello. Oh, you didn't, did you? Because you're grumpy. Be curious to know what the actual, what the longest map is, longest journey. Because I would like to live stream Omzi at some point. You know, and if I could do like an hour bus journey, that'd be awesome. I mean, I do it. I do an hour now, to be honest. <laughs> um, but not not because I want to, just because it's how it happens. I don't. You know, I toodle along at like now. Look, I'm doing 20. I need to be doing 30 at least. But it just seems too quick. There we go. Hello. Oh, mate. Oh, mate. Uh, return, please. Yeah, no worries. Take it. It's changed, fella. Awesome. Thank you very much. You the man. You the man. Nice indications in your van there. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh no. There we go. The other thing is, I'm trying to work out another bus because I've been using this London city bus a lot because I've been doing UK maps. So, um,. I have got another one. The Volvo won't load for some reason. Um, and I've got the National Express, which I have done a little video on with that. So, um, hopefully, I could do with just another couple of another couple of decent buses. But I might start doing some Berlin stuff. Where's the bus stop? Really? Really? Well, I'm pretty sure nobody wants to get on. I've gone way past the bus stop. What an idiot parking in, on the road like that. Come on, there we go. The only other thing I might like would be just like a digital display of the speed you're actually doing because sometimes it's a bit difficult to to see. You know, a bit like a bit like what you've got on um on ETS, a bit like that. Where it tells you um what um you know what speed you're doing and so on what speed you should be doing. Nope, no one wants to get on. Everyone's heard about my driving, that's the problem. Here we go, right. We must be coming up towards the end now. Here we go, this is 30 mile an hour. It seems quick, it does seem way too quick. Oh no! <laughs> I didn't hear a ding. It's fine. <laughs> nobody, nobody stood there. We should be good. We should be good. 
I wonder if you get penalised for not stopping, even though nobody wanted to get off and nobody wanted to get on. Oh, I thought that was a. I'll just. I. I. I yeah. Safety first. Indicate round round a corner. You know, it's not. It's not a problem. People. Hello, people. Oh, walk to the bus, love. Sorry. There we go. Overshot the mark a little bit. My apologies. Evening. Well, oh. Can I have a return, please? Because you can. I'll take that. Um, ticket. Oh, love. Yeah, thanks. No, thank you. No, nothing. I have took that a little bit wide so I didn't hit the curb. <laughs> didn't hit it though. Did, did good. Boy did good. Another bus stop coming up just down here. And yet again it looks like nobody wants to get on. Or off. But we're going to stop because it seems like the right thing to do. Tell you what, I'll tell you why there's no one getting on. Did I push? Did I? I did I push forward time? I don't think I did. So I might be doing all this for no apparent reason. But at least it got to got you got to see the map at least, or the the, the Omni navigational tool. So oh, you want to? Oh my God! This bus, up uh, this bus, this hill. This is the where we terminate up at the university. <laughs> Go on out of the road. There we go. Except for buses. Awesome. Here we have it. We are here, people. <laughs> There we go. Oh no, we, no, I did, I did sort the time out. There we go. So we done it. Look, we got all OKs. One minute. We're doing. No, yeah, I'm happy with all that. I'm very, very happy with that. Someone else is happy, as you can hear. So that was that. Bye, bye, people. Bye, bye. Sorry, bus. <laughs> Oh dear. So this is using the cotter, uh, not the cotterel, the navigational system, which is pretty cool, I think. So there we go, guys. That is the um, Omni navigation. <laughs> Let's put that on. Put that in neutral. Let's turn the bus off. Turn the electrics off. Oh, hang on a minute. Electrics on. Shut the doors. Electrics off. There we go. Done and done. So there we go. Considering I said I wasn't going to finish the route, I have decided that I, I, I did, which is fine. So I hope you found this useful. Um, if I can help in any way, let me know um, in the comments. I will help as much as I can. I don't know a lot about Humzi. Um There are plenty of forums that you could go to and put your put your questions in over there. Um, but for now. That's going to be it. I would like to thank you all for watching. Anything you need to know about 
my channel is in the description below. I'll try and remember to put a link to the Omni Navigation in the description as well. And um, hopefully you can all enjoy. So, like I said, thanks for watching guys. Speak to you all next time.